everybody. Welcome to Adventures in Art. This week we are going to be doing an evil eye. It's just something they use in some cultures to ward off the bad spirits and everything, but we're just doing it for fun. I wanted to do this sponge painting, so that's why I wanted to do this one. So the first thing you need to do is paint your entire canvas plain white. You need to paint it completely covered in white and let it dry all the way before you continue on. So once you are done with that, you can come back. I've already done that, but when you're all done, come back and finish watching the video. So what we're gonna do then is, see how I have the inside? This had to be painted white. And when I first did the sample, it worked out better I painted the white after, and I realized after I did it that way, it would work out better if you painted the entire canvas white first, and then went back and, you know, did the other parts, and then you didn't have to go about, worry about this part then. So the first thing you want to do is cut out your evil eye. I did it this way this time. I just cut out the circle where the eyeball is from the other. This time, the other time, I cut out the sides but didn't leave it attached. This time I left it attached. Then you want to roll up tape, put it on the back, and then you want to position it centered. You could use painter's tape and roll it up underneath, but do not put tape on the outside, like tape it down this way, because then it won't work because what we're gonna do is we're gonna sponge paint around that. It doesn't have to have a perfect edge though. And then take the middle part and also tape that down, so like that. And then what we're gonna do, you guys have a regular sponge. I had a, one of these old actual sponges that you use for painting. Oh shoot, I forgot to, one minute. I'm putting a plastic uh, vinyl glove on my hand because I don't want to be full of paint. So if you have a vinyl glove at home, you can put one on. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just wash your hands real good afterward. Use a baby wipe to get it all off. So first thing you're going to do after you do this part and get it all ready, let me try to get it centered better, is you want to start with, I put a little bit of blue and a little bit of green on my paper plate. And I am going to take a little bit of the blue. You don't need very much on your sponge at a time. So just like about that. And then you just want to go around just like this all over. And see, you don't need a lot at one time because you want the white showing through. You don't want to cover your entire canvas so there's no white showing through. And that's another reason why we painted it white first is so you didn't have a bare canvas that had the white already painted down. And you don't want to rub. You just want to press. You do not want to smear it. And you got to make sure you do it in the middle too. And a little bit of paint goes a long way. It goes further than you think. That's why you don't want to put too much on your sponge at one time. And you can decide how much color you want on your canvas by how many, you know, how often you push it down everywhere. You can kind of blot it if you have too much. See, if you put too much, this is what happens. And you don't, you want to try to avoid that. So just kind of go all over with it. Cover the entire canvas. See how much longer I could keep pressing on it and getting blue out of it after I put in too much? So don't forget, do in the middle. When you get it covered, how much you like it. Like I said, you don't want to cover the entire canvas. You want to make sure some of the white is still showing through. So now you don't have to worry about rinsing off your sponge. You could just turn it to another side. And now I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'm not gonna wait for it to dry, but I'm gonna do the same thing in the green. Your blue is a little bit darker than my blue. 
doesn't matter though. Typically, like the evil eye in like Turkey is usually mostly blue, mostly blue colors. So I kind of was going by that, but I kind of like the way this green showed up on it. So same thing, add as much green as you would like. Don't forget to do in the middle. And you can turn your sponge around because your sponge is rectangular. You might want to turn your sponge a little bit here and there just to get a better shape so you don't keep having the same like edge on it. Where mine is kind of a roundish sponge to begin with. My sponge is kind of falling apart though. That's why I use this one. It's falling apart so much I'm going to throw it out after. So you're just going to do the same thing with the blue that you did same thing with the green that you did with the blue and just kind of go all over until you get it the way you like it if you have another shade of blue you can use another shade of blue if you have another shade of green you can use more than one shade of blue if you want it's up to you if you went through and made too much color and there's no white showing underneath anymore you could go back with white paint because i did give you the white paint anyway you could go back with white paint wash your sponge off really good first and after you clean off your sponge and get all the extra blue and green out of it you can go back and do the same thing with a little bit of white so you can put a little bit of white on your plate then you could take your sponge and you could dab the white a little bit all over if you use by chance too much blue and green and you had no white left to show. So I am going to be satisfied with this. And I'm going to go ahead and throw that out. Then you're going to let it dry for a little bit. And when it is dry, you want to go back and very carefully remove your cardboard, your paper eye. Take off my glove now. Oops, I forgot to remove the center one. No, no. Don't forget to move the center one like I almost forgot. Okay. And those parts, it's not going to have a sharp edge on it, which is fine because that's where we're going to go over it with the black anyway. But you have at least most of the white part is still white. If you smear it, that's another reason why it'll go over the lines underneath your paper too much but see you're going to cover it up with all the black border anyway so you're not going to see like how i missed it a little bit there so when this is all dry come back and then you're going to do the next step which is painting things in with the black so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start out with the very center and I'm going to do the center first because then it has to be I put a little white in it afterward so go ahead and after yours is dry come back and then when you come back start with the center and color paint in the center of the eye with your black when you paint, try to follow like the shape of it. So you kind of want to do circular around the edges. Try to get it nice and solid like that. That's perfect. And then you're going to want to, I'm trying to like do this so I don't get my arm in it though. You're going to want to make a border around here. Try to use not too wide of a brush. And try to keep your lines about the same thickness, but I know it's hard because I know I have a hard time doing that too. So do that. Make a border around it. If you need to turn your canvas around, you can. I 
try to turn mine around, I'll end up with paint all over my hands. And then you want to do the border around the edge here, outline this part. This isn't a very long painting. It's not going to take very long to do this painting either. I'm going to try to turn this. So otherwise, I'm going to end up dipping my arm in it. So do all of your lines around the edges. And slowly turn it. And I have a flat board where you guys got a canvas, so... Mine's going to be a little sturdier because it's flat, but then when it's flat, it's harder to turn and move around because it's all covered in paint on the edges. So do your border like that, your outline. So it's all outlined now. And then mine just kind of radiated out like that. So I'm going to take like this was continuing on, and like this edge was continuing on. And then I'm going to do the reverse. So this is going to come this way, and this is going to come this way. And then kind of break it up. Let's see, I did one, two, three, four, five, six. So I did like three. So I'm going to kind of start here and then just kind of do it outward. And then here and do it outward. If you wait for yours to dry, you won't have the blue and the green coming through like mine is right now. So. Make sure your blue and your green are dry before you do this part. And then I'm going to take this section and divide it into two also. So that'll be the six. It's not that hard of a painting, and I kind of like to do the sponge painting every once in a while. It's kind of fun to do the sponge painting. up to you if you want to start from the eye and work your way out or start from the outer part and work your way in doesn't matter if they're exactly perfect and because I have such a spot there I'm gonna do one in the middle it's up to you how many you want to do around but I decided to do one more on this one all right we turn it around We still have one more painting done for the summer, one more painting left, and that's going to be a flip-flops. Like I said, you don't have to worry about these being even thicknesses either. Just supposed to be a fun painting. realized I didn't have enough. All right, so one more. All right, like that. So that's how I am doing mine. And then what I'm going to do, when my black, when your black is dry, my black is not going to be dry, but I got to do it anyway to show you guys. Take this, get it all cleaned up. And see how I didn't use hardly any green and blue out of this. You really don't need very much paint. It goes a lot further than you think it does. All right, so I am going to pretend like my black is dry. And then you want to make a round. I'm going to leave it like that because there's no way it's not going to smear and turn gray. But... Wait till yours is dry, and then put yours on in the middle like that. Off, well, it's off to the side, but I mean your middle black part. And that basically is it. 
Like I said, it's a very quick painting this week, but it's a fun one to do with the sponge painting. But see, it looks better when you have white showing through it. You don't want to just do it strictly all the colors. This one I kind of like a little bit better. So I used a different kind of sponge on this one, I think. But that is it. All right. So we have one more week of painting left, and that is going to be some flip-flops. And I can show you that real quick because I happen to have it sitting here. So we're going to be doing flip-flops next week, and then that will be the last one for the summer until September again. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye.